All right, so you ready for the last ones, man? Sure, The sure. Cincinnati Bengals, the Bengals. I like it. I don't love it. I think it's, yeah, it's the fourth in the division to me. Yeah. I'm just going to throw it out I there. I still think they did good. I, they did. They did. It's fourth in the division, but it's still like a high fourth. It's not like an F. It's still a good no, grade. No, like they're probably in yeah. the top 10 or 15 yes. compared to the rest of the league. Absolutely, That's how man. good we did, like the AFC North did this year. Absolutely. I'm trying. Let's see. Um... Where are we at? Oh, here we go, right here. All right, you got what? Jamar Chase, first round. Jackson Carmen, O tackle in the second round out of Clemson. Then you go, was it Joseph Ose? I think that's how you say his yeah. name. The, uh, the edge out of, or excuse me, yeah, linebacker out of uh, Texas in the third round. Then they went with Cameron Sample, Dean out of Tulane in the fourth round. Tyler Shelvin, D tackle out of LSU in the fourth. Deontay Smith. Oh, oh, offensive lineman, offensive tackle out of ECU in the fourth as well. They had three fourth round picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah, I like this dude right here. They went the uh, the kicker out of Florida as well. Uh, Evan McPherson in the fifth round. Then Trey Hill out of Georgia in the sixth round. Chris Evans running back out of Michigan in the sixth. And then Wyatt Hubert, the Dean out of Kansas State in the seventh round. <sighs> Number one for me, I got to start with Jamar Chase. I love Jamar Chase as a player. I love pairing him back with Joe Burrow. I hate the pick, though, when you got Penny Sewell was on the board. Like, you know you need to protect your quarterback. We talked about it this whole time. We said, bro, please don't mess this up. If you're Joe Burrow, you got to be just telling your GM, telling your head coach, get me a tackle that can save me. Please keep me clean. I'm a cook. I got T. Higgins. I got Tyler Boyd. I got weapons around me. I'm good. But they go on ahead and draft Jamar Chase. And then they try to make it right and say, well, we're going to draft Jackson in the second round. But Jackson isn't Penn A. That, that's my thing. I'm just like, when you have that type of talent from an offensive line standpoint available to you, you have a young quarterback who's coming off a knee injury. We're coming off of a season where you know your old line wasn't good. How when, When's the last time their old line's been good? Like, yeah. you're supposed to take an offensive line in there. It made perfect sense. So that's my biggest knock with them right here, man. So I kind of see what they were doing with that, and I I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be interested too. to hear what your rebuttal is to this because yeah. they drafted a, a tackle in the first round last year, mm -hmm. and then they signed Riley Reef this offseason, mm -hmm. another tackle. So you're you're in a tough spot. You one are. of those one of those guys aren't going to play unless yeah. you you're trying to move them to guard potentially. I don't yeah. know if you could have done that with the dude that you uh, you drafted last year. What they should have done then, if you're not going to take Sewell, mm -hmm. maybe you just trade down. Trade down, collect yeah. another like nice second-round pick or another nice uh, first-round pick later in the draft, and you could have maybe shirt up your offensive line if you wanted to take Carmen, and then you could have taken like a center and then another guard. You could have just completely built your offensive mm -hmm. line in those first two rounds right there. That's what I'm thinking. If you weren't yeah. going to take Sewell or you were just worried like we're doubling up too much on the offensive tackles, I don't know. Jamar, I, I like the pick, though. I'll, I'm not, I'll be yeah. straight up. You know I'm an offensive guy. I like no, and, and that's the thing. I was like, I like it because of how talented he is. I think it's a, as another weapon for Joe. I, we know. We we like Joe. We think Joe is going to be a really good quarterback. But I'm just like, man, you can have all the weapons in the world. If you don't have the protection, if you don't have an O-line that can block for you, you're stuck. It's not really going to matter. We think about when Odell first went to Cleveland, right? We said, man, from a receiving standpoint, they got Odell. They got Jarvis. They got Njoku. They got all these weapons. And we said, man, they can't protect. Every time they would drop back, it was like, man, your quarterback don't get killed back here. And then what did they do? They addressed the, off the offense line heavily, yeah. free agency and in the draft. And then you saw what it looked like with all of it together. That is what I'm trying to see. If you're Cincy, like, I get the weapons outside, but is Riley, you, you think he's coming in, he's upgrading the offensive line like that? I personally don't. Better than last year, at least. Yeah, yeah. We, we would hope so. But, well, actually, we don't hope so. <laughs> I, I said that backwards. We, we would not hope so, actually. I hope that it is an upgrade. Let me, let me, let me rephrase that. What do you think of that, though? You, you think that's I, what I was going on in their mind? It, it you, reminds me of Baltimore's uh, mindset, right? We talked about Baltimore not addressing the right tackle position early on. But they said, well, hey, we got Al Villain away. We feel like he's going to be better than anybody that we're going to draft right now. So that's where we're going. That That's the route we're going to go. Cincinnati could have a similar sentiment. You just don't think it's a good move? I personally don't when you have a guy like Panay available to you on the board. I think that's different because Baltimore didn't have that available to them. If I remember correctly, they didn't have that when, uh, excuse me, when um Jason went off. Like I said, I didn't mind Rashard. I, I like Bateman at number one. I, I'm cool with that. But the second one, that's the one I would have to see who was still available. You know what I mean? Because Tevin, yeah, Tevin was available during yeah, that yeah. time frame. He went second round. Yeah, so that's a guy I'm just kind of like, 
do you think Tevin at right tackle is an upgrade over Al switching the right tackle? I personally do. So that's Ed Walker Little too. I think yeah, Jalen Mayfield one, yeah. won in the third round. So I'm just kind of like, I would have personally rather went that route if I was them. And for Cincinnati, similar thought process. Like, I don't mind you going Jackson, but knowing that that should have been Penne. Think about the drop off. Think about the talent discrepancy between those two players. That to me is where I'm just like, I'm not a fan of it. But like I said, I can see where you just like, yo, we got this bona fide <laughs> stud out here. And that's just going to open this offense up so much more. And they said that uh, the coordinator out there, they want uh, Joe to get the ball out faster, make his decisions faster. So if that is the mentality and you're saying that, hey, man, we want you getting that ball out three seconds or less. I don't care about this old line. Well, then, all right, I can see why you would go this way. I just personally don't think that that's going to be the recipe for success, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah, because those first two picks, based off their needs, not bad. Not bad. I guess you could have that third receiver, but Jamar Chase coming in, he's probably going to be your number one. Because we know what Boyd is. Boyd is like a, a really nice number two. Yeah. Higgins could be, ah, man, he, I mean, he could have been a number one, no but they're question. just different styles. Yes. Chase is a little bit more physical, but yeah, yeah. yeah they're going to have a loaded uh, mm-hmm. top three receivers there. I was thinking tight end, but if you're going to just be going with these rece- three receiver sets. Yeah, hey, we don't worry about no tight end when you got that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I thought it was fine. Yeah. Let me let me see some of these notes that I have here. Yeah, because they, they upgraded the cornerback position in the offseason yeah, with they Hilton. Did. Bringing in the dude over from Dallas, Trey Waynes too. Yeah, they got it. Got some edge hope in terms of uh, was it uh, Hen- 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 Hendrickson? That's yeah, the, yeah. From the Saints, right? Yeah, they, they had, like the thirteen. They brought in a couple of dudes on their line yeah. too, so maybe you could have talked about them getting a linebacker, but yeah. they drafted a well, couple no, dudes I in the third. Linebackers last year. I was gonna say uh, was they it, uh, Gathers and Wilson. Yeah, they yeah, drafted yeah, a couple dudes guy, last yeah. year, so if they're high on them, maybe you don't Absolutely. address the linebacker position. So. Yeah. Outside of the offensive line, if for whatever reason well, you're I feeling... I like the kid from Texas. Uh, was it Joseph? Yeah, he's a productive player. I think he's going to be good there. Yeah, if for whatever reason you're thinking that, hey, man, we upgraded the line as much as we needed to at this point. Yeah. I, th- I think they did fine on their picks. Now, going into the chat, right, just asking you know their thoughts on the Bengals. Kevin, Kevin Brokenboro says the Bengals needed to, uh, they need pass blocking in terms of O-line, and they didn't address that. So, yeah. That's what I mean. They, I think yeah. I think if they would have traded down, that would have been the better move and just that drafted three linemen yes. in the first two rounds. That Because they were good at wide receiver. It just looked like they didn't want to move, and they took the best player that they thought was available yeah. versus what they really needed. And stuff it's not like as flashy. That, it's Because right yeah. now, looking back, it's like, can you imagine this team without Jamar Chase? Because you already drafted yeah, yeah, him. It's true, like, I don't, I wouldn't want to give up Jamar Tate yeah. for any of these linemen. Very true. <laughs> very true. But right. in, yeah, in the moment, that might have been the better. Yeah. You, you well, need well, to take your medicine. Nick shares our sense. He says he's so happy that they passed on Sewell. I agree. Because so what would they have, they, maybe they just move one of those guys to guards then. So how, have, how would you operate listen, in that situation? When you have him, it's him, and you make the mother guys figure it out on their That's own. what I mean. Because he's that good. That's what you want in that type of guy. They ain't want to go that road. They can figure it out on their own. I ain't tripping on it. I ain't going to give them the answers now. We just going to critique them. That's what we do. Him going to the Lions doesn't affect the Lions at all. It they're, doesn't. They're That's just, the just going to be garbage. Like, gosh. <laughs> I'm like, out of all the teams you go to, like, you might not ever make an all pro because you're playing in Detroit. <laughs> no one watches Detroit, first off. Especially you don't Detroit. have yeah, you don't have Stafford there right. anymore. Galladay just left. You think we tuning Man. in to watch Jared Goff play quarterback for the Detroit Lions? Heck no, baby. Not a chance. It'll be interesting for like three weeks. <laughs> but then, yeah, they're oh going to go down gosh. the two. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Let's see. Some more. Bengals had an okay draft. Nothing spectacular. That was from Vikesh. Shout out, Vikesh. I see you in the building. Uh, Somebody else I just saw popped up. Yeah, because like in the middle of the chat, some like Ray Lewis conversation going on here. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like a whole heated discussion. I saw some peasy pull up. Oh, Rod Dollars. That's what I was looking for. Rod, man, shout out to you, Rod, man. I see you on my other show too. And he says, uh, since he found a gym, since he found a gym in the undrafted free agent, Puka Williams, the running back, uh, was out of Kansas, I want to say, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So he's the guy that they signed undrafted. I do like him. They're saying that he could potentially be their new G- uh, Giovanni Bernardo. Oh, wow. That's what okay. they're saying. Because obviously, they got Joe Mixon coming back, but Giovanni, he left and went to Tampa this offseason. Yeah. So, yeah, I, d- I do like his game. We talked about him a little bit. He went to Tampa, too. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Ronald Jones, Fournette, yeah. and him. Yeah. Is it, there's got to be another one. AP still wants to go there, maybe. Hey, Mike. I love to say they got their three backs right there, right? So, AB be the sh- uh, AP could be their like, short yardage goal linebacker. You I notice guess. I'm not talking about Bell anymore. I noticed. What's Adrian going on, Peterson. man? 
We're good. We're good. Oh, you're AP. That's that's the new guy. No, no, I'm not talking about them anymore. We're yeah. good. We got Harris, man. I don't gotta worry about it. Respect, respect. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's see what else they said about <clears throat> Rod Young. So we had Rod Dallas. Now we got Rod Young. Rod Young says F the Bengals. Ten exclamation points. I agree with that sentiment, one thousand percent. Yes, indeed. And then let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, whole bunch of other craziness going on in here. Oh, now this is a good question for Rod. He asked, "Do we have the secondary to stop the Bengals wide receivers?" Whoa. That, <laughs> yo, why you gotta do that, Rod? I thought you was on our team here, Rod. I, think, I thought you cared about no, 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 no. I think the pass refs this, should be good enough. I feel like this is personal, Rod. Why you got to bring up our corners versus their wide receivers? Why We don't need to have that conversation just yet. It's a good question. It's a great question. That's I love a, that that's question. A, that's man. a really good question, actually. <laughs> oh, we... Uh, I, don't, I don't like this right I think now. Cam Sutton could hold his own, but who's the third? Who, who, who's, he, who's he guarding? Uh, I think he goes up against Boyd. And who has Higgins? Uh, that's the question. I, uh, we'll, we'll have Joe Hayden on Jamar Chase. I don't even know if that's the best matchup. I was sitting here like, I, I was about to ask, so who got Jamar? <laughs> well, we don't got to worry about their tight end. No, nah, no. Yeah, so, yeah, we could, that, put, yeah. we could put extra attention to one of those guys. So, so who who's the guy? James Pierre? You Justin know what, Lane? dude? I'm kind of liking this Shakur Brown, dude. I, <laughs> I really <laughs> am. Dude, wait, did you check him out yet? I, I, no, I watched the straight, highlights. He's straight, he's straight. Dude, he does look like Mike no, Hilton. He's good. They said he just t- tested bad. That was the, the knock on him, right? <sighs> Yeah, so he just tested bad, but they people he's had like he's in the mix. He's in know, the mix for that third spot. People had high grade on him. They uh, him and Quincy Roche were the biggest reasons why like a lot of the uh, like analysts, the people who like watch the tape and stuff like that, the guys that I like to listen to, they were talking about how they thought that those two guys were could be the biggest steals for the Steelers because they think Quincy has the potential to be a really good player. Some people have like third round grades on him and stuff like that, but obviously him playing in Miami. You know the people that he was playing with. It was a little bit different for him down there. And he was a transfer, right? He came from Temple and stuff like that. But they said with Shakur, they said, man, he's a guy that was productive, knows how to play the game. Some guys are just natural picks left and right. right? Yeah. Some people just know how to play. And they might not test well, but they just know how to play. And that's what Shakur he looks like. He just finds the ball. He gets after it, man. Good player. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't I, I still don't like our matchups right now, baby. I, I'm not one of, one of those dudes got to be a stud out of those three cornerbacks. I'm hoping you're right. Yeah, one of those. Dudes. I, I hope so. Where did they come from? How did they? How did they? They just magically wake up and be studs. Well, I I like what I'm seeing. See the Pierre the Pierre one to me. I'm just seeing the that one highlight where he turns his hips in the Browns game. That's the only play I've seen from him. Are you? He got some plays. He got some heat. Uh, did you do it? Yeah, I did, I did, yeah, I did the review. I yeah. did a film session, so I just yeah, outed myself. Yeah, there. I, I haven't yeah. seen the film. Se- oh wait, yeah. no, I, I no, cut no, it up. We talked to it. Yeah, you did. I cut, cut it up, yeah, wait, but it was it? a while ago, bro. Think about okay. when we did that. That was. Wow. Yeah, Pierre. I think Stephen Nelson might still be on the roster when that happened. Might have been. Yeah, yeah, because nah, we were more so looking at them two in terms of Stephen Nelson and Justin Lane as who. No, Steven Olsen was gone. Cam Sutton had just got you his did deal. One on, you did one on Pierre. Yeah. I think you did, I did one on, on all three yeah, of them. Yeah, I did both. Yeah. You did, did them at Cam, just different times. Yeah, different times. Yeah, we did James and Justin, I felt, first maybe, and mm-hmm. then Cam after that for the film sessions. But yeah, I mean, I thought Justin had played, or not Justin, James had plays where he was productive. He's just not he was in athletic. the right position yeah, a lot, he, right? he was always in the right yeah. position. Like, fundamentally sound, plays really good, good technique, understands the defense. Like I said, just limited athletically. Whereas Justin Lane was the opposite. Justin, freaky athlete. He does some things. You're just like, whoa, that's different. But mentally, you're just like, bro, if you could just walk over here five yards, you'll be perfect. And, if, and yeah. it seems like everything got handled off the field. What you mean? Like nothing, oh, like yeah, oh, nothing yeah, well, happened. Like he's good, yeah. and we didn't cut him, so yeah. it looks like he's gonna be on the roster for Absolutely. us next year. So it's yeah. it's gonna be a competition between those three, I guess. And typically, even when Goodell does his discipline for off field stuff, is usually the following year. When it be this year, he would typically wait until the following year. Yeah, because he's just doing like yeah. community service. I think he paid yeah. like a five hundred dollar fine, and yep. I think that was it. I think that, sounds, that, was it. that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I mean, all things considered. Yeah, exactly. Way worse. And yeah, like I said, he's still on the Steelers roster, so yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, they wouldn't they have cut him way early? I think they would have. Yeah. If they didn't, it, at, at this point, if they do yeah. eventually cut him around training camp, or I guess it would have something to do with football, not right. that stuff. Which is what I've. That's what we were saying. Like yeah. if you cut him, cut him because of football. Don't cut him because of that off field. Yeah, that was mistake. my big yeah. thing. 
Yeah. But um, let's see. Uh, right here, Rod also says that he's a Pierre fan. He thinks that, well, number one, because he's from Haiti and Rod's from Haiti. All right. Shout out to, to, to the Haitians in the building. But he says Chase is a dog and I'm with you. I just don't like our all of our matchups across the board versus all their matches. But that's the beauty of football. Yeah, let's wait. Let's wait to see yeah, how training camp yeah, and preseason play out, yeah. and then we'll we'll have a more yeah. better idea of the depth chart. Then. Right, we we don't have to just go all the way full panic mode when we're talking about that particular matchup that's going to be twice a year. We don't need to do that. We're going to rely right on now. the pass rush a little we got time. bit. Rely, heavily, heavily. rely on some help from Minka yeah. and Edmonds. Heavily, it'll be all yeah. right. Yeah, and smoke and mirrors. Yeah. This deception. Gotta have deception. That's like the art of war. I remember that. Right? Sure. Yeah, just show here, but we're going here. We're yeah, good. that's fine. That's it. That's all we need. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready to so, wrap it up, man? We got one last. Yeah, topic so we we here, both man. agree Steelers over Bengals, then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. In terms man. of the draft, absolutely. yep. Yeah. Dude, you you hear something? What? Hold on, bro. It's, oh, wait a minute. Is is that the people? Is oh, <laughs> we got an announcement. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, another episode is brought to you by Manscaped, and they just actually called me up. I have my little earpiece in, oh, and they just exclusively just dropped this new lawnmower 4.0. I mean, we saw the 3.0, yeah. right? We said the 3.0 was a bad man, a gem, a generational, but they just dropped the 4.0. Oh, oh my God. And today, ladies and gentlemen, y'all are going to get a little reveal right on it just for y'all because we care about y'all, and we know y'all care about us, and it's a whole new balls game, baby. That's what it is now. <laughs> So let's just, I mean, while we over here, let's just, oh, let's see how we turn. Does it still have the light? It has the oh, light. Okay. We got to have the light because we're tactical. Yeah. As the manscape. Apparently, I could turn the light off. Let me see if I can get this popping on camera real quick. <gasps> I could turn the light off. Damn. <sighs> can I, want me? No, 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 I'm good. I'm it's good right used. now. I don't, did I use it? Because I'm. <laughs> no, it's, it's good. <laughs> But well, ladies and I'm gentlemen, not, this, I might bring the beard back. So you, you know, if you do, just you know, you know, yeah. whenever you need a little trim on your trim, I got you, baby. New manscape, long more, four point no. You definitely want to get this. And as y'all already know, man, your delicate areas, you know, your twins, the two dangling ones, they will thank you for that. Oh, and I almost forgot, Deke. <clears throat> you know, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be. A, a, a read if we didn't have a promo code right we don't we don't do anything without promo code so with yeah that's, that, that's a demand of ours huh absolutely <laughs> use the promo code most receive up to 20 percent off on all of your orders along with free shipping love free shipping love promo codes love 20 percent off so like i said man use the promo code most and then that way you can take care of your delicate twins baby 